It's Wednesday, June 27th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Castanet's Evening Update. At the top of the news, Castanet's sister radio station, Okanagan Oldies 103.9, has been raising money all day for special kids throughout the Okanagan. It's the ninth annual Variety Radiothon. Variety Club steps in where health care ends providing direct help to children and families with special needs. They've been doing it for more than 50 years. The Radiothon ended at 6 p.m. Check in with Castanet for final totals and ways that you can still donate to Variety. The death of a homeless person in Kelowna is not deemed suspicious. The body of the individual was discovered Wednesday afternoon near Enterprise Way and Highway 33. A shopping cart and belongings were strewn around the area where a tarp covered the body. RCMP and the coroner's service are investigating. The union representing more than 675 casino workers in the Okanagan and Kamloops confirmed Wednesday workers are ready to walk off the job Friday to back their contract demands. As Castanet first reported Monday, mediation efforts aimed at reaching a settlement broke off. Casinos in Penticton, Kelowna, Vernon and Kamloops will be affected. The Crown has approved attempted murder charges in connection with a shooting in Oliver last month. Andrew Bradley Miller is facing one count of attempted murder with a firearm in possession of a firearm for a May 28th incident where he allegedly shot Tyler Newton. Charges were sworn June 1st. 27-year-old Jared Jorgensen is out on bail. Jorgensen, charged with first-degree murder, appeared in Kelowna Supreme Court Wednesday. He's charged with first-degree murder and the death of Michael Bonin, whose body was found in a remote area near Hope. Jorgensen was released on $35,000 bail. Police say there were no known incidents from a grad party in the Carmi Woods east of Penticton on Tuesday night. The unsanctioned party was the subject of veiled threats prior to the event. High school students posting to the local Penticton Facebook group indicated police blocked the Forest Service Road heading to the party site, leading some youths to have a small fire on a local beach instead. Kelowna police looking for a man in his 50s or 60s who allegedly used a cell phone to look up a woman's skirt. The incident apparently took place at a business on Harvey Avenue on June 16th. A woman says she saw a man bend over and place what looked like a cell phone under the skirt of her friend. A description and picture of the man are available on Castanet. A woman pushing two young children in a stroller was struck by a vehicle Tuesday morning at Gerstmar and Elwyn in Kelowna. Police say the woman managed to push the stroller out of the way before being hit. She was sent flying by the impact before a hard landing on the pavement. The driver apparently sped away. A Penticton woman who offered up a kidney to a stranger is doing well post-surgery, as is the woman who received it. Al Mansfield, whose wife Dorothy was in late-stage kidney disease, says the transplant was successful, but recovery was a bit difficult. Luckily, he says, the transplant is taking. Police have identified possible suspects involved in a Monday morning break-in of a convenience store near Sorrento. A tip led police to the residence in Sorrento. The investigation identified suspects possibly responsible for the original theft on June 25th, as well as other individuals who were in possession of stolen cigarettes and lottery tickets. A Summerland woman has filed a lawsuit against Argo Road Maintenance for allegedly failing to keep Highway 97 maintained, which led to her crashing her vehicle. In a lawsuit filed this week in Penticton, the woman says she suffered a traumatic brain injury and other injuries when she crashed onto or into another vehicle on Highway 97 near Pyramid Park. Okanagan weather, clouds and showers expected in time for the Canada Day long weekend. Sunshine should return Sunday. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, a story of a puppy in need of a new home. And a West Kelowna crash sparks fears. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, and hey, thanks for honking, I'm Wayne Moore.